Going to give it a little bit to start off, but I uh, do want to thank everybody for joining us. Luis Romero here in Uptown Martinsville for the Oktoberfest. I believe this is the 42nd annual, and we're seeing that things are starting to kick off. It's just a little after 11 since uh, the event has kicked off, and I uh, do want to thank uh, Sheriff Wayne Davis for sponsoring this portion, this segment of our coverage. We have others, so definitely stay tuned. We're going to be showing you around and talking to uh, some of the individuals that we have here. But you can see that kids are having fun. Um, we have a lot of food. We have a lot of different vendors that are all here uh, today. Um, as you can see, this is, this is all in Uptown. It's completely closed. We're going to make our way uh, up and try to see if we can uh, get a quick interview with uh, Sheriff Wayne Davis again he's sponsoring this uh, portion of our of our broadcast and he is of course talking to some individuals here at the scene um, Sheriff tell me a great day to have this um, I saw some people some hoodies but I think it's a pretty good weather oh um, it's perfect fall weather you know I'm a cold weather fan I'm really enjoying this cold weather so cool weather not got a nice breeze so I encourage everybody to come out. We got a great event. The attendance already is is phenomenal, as you can see here on the street. Lots of good vendors, plenty to eat and snack on here. Uh, please stop by the Wayne Davis for Sheriff booth here. Um, be glad to meet and greet everybody here in the community. We've seen you've had some people already come. What are some of the things that you're hearing from them that maybe they want to see kind of you know change or improved on or just things that they they've been talking to you about? Well, really, the biggest thing today the outpouring of support from the community over these recent drug arrests has been tremendous. Uh, I think it's greatly appreciated by everybody. Odds are you can walk this street right here, Luis, and drugs have touched nearly every person out here one way or another. So the removal of drug dealers from our community truly affects every citizen in Henry County. And when you talk about cleaning it up, uh, we can get to things like this. We can put more importance on things like this when we have those, those streets that are a lot cleaner. Most certainly, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer in the importance of community engagement. Um, so we, we're out here at these events. Uh, we're doing all we can to meet all our citizens. We've attended a tremendous amount of events here lately, and we just want our deputies to be in, engaged and involved. And uh, we're just thankful to have this position as Sheriff of Henry County. And uh, it, it's really made an impact in my life and the lives of the deputies. It's truly an honor and a privilege, and it's very humbling to serve as the Sheriff of this community. And I just ask that everybody uh, get out and vote. Please cast your votes and let your voice be heard. And uh, I, I'd like to remind the community that I will continue to serve you faithfully for the next four years. If you're gracious enough to give me your vote, I'd sincerely appreciate that. And so uh, when our students started back to school this year, they had SRO in their school for the first time. Uh, we brought the D.A.R.E. program back, I think was a big deal. And the, the D.A.R.E. program was a big deal to me when I was a child. I remember that D.A.R.E. deputy coming out and he made an impact on all the students, and that's really what we wanted to do again. That's our first step of community engagement is with our youth. And if we don't educate our youth on the dangers of drugs and alcohol, then all we're doing is fostering the next generation of addicts. So I believe in our youth, I believe in investing in them, and I believe in investing in this community, and we'll continue to do so. I know you touched on D.A.R.E. program. Tell, tell us a little bit of some of the other things that you've already implemented or you would like to implement as the months come for maybe those individuals that just simply can't get out to the events or, or give you a call. And, and this is, might be the only way they hear it. So t tell us a little bit about that. So again, we, we put the SROs there. We brought the D.A.R.E. program back. But one of the other things we've done community outreach wise is our Citizen Connect program that will really connect all of our community to the Sheriff's Office. It gives you a first hand look inside as what's going on. And our, and our deputies are coming out to all these events. And um, whether it be your, your church or your school, if you want a deputy to come out, all you got to do is call us if you're having a special event. In fact, we got a number of pumpkin carvings coming up in the schools. And, and our deputies really love to get out there with the youth, carve pumpkins, and just build those relationships. I'm going to ask that we be invited to at least one of those because uh, I've always wanted to be invited, never have gotten, uh, just because it kind of just rolls up on us. But I think that that's a great way that kids uh, can see you guys in a different light than maybe, you know, uh, in, in a negative stance. Most certainly. You know, I always work hard to be sure I got the coolest looking pumpkin too. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to us and thank you for being a sponsor today. Yes. Thank you for allowing me to be a sponsor. It's, it's really an honor to be a sponsor here. And again, it's an honor to be your sheriff and serve this community. Thank you so much, Sheriff. All right, folks, we're going to continue. I want to thank Sheriff Wayne Davis again for sponsoring this portion. Um, I, do I have, how much time do I have? Still good? We're still good? Five minutes? Okay, we're at five minutes. Uh, we have here 
uh, some great tasty items that you'll be able to enjoy if you come out uh, today. Again, folks, I think, in my opinion, and I, believe it or not, am a summer weather lover, so I am still very, very pleased with the weather today and a pretty good turnout. I would say uh, for the, the time, you know, it, it's just got started and I believe it goes on until 4. Um, it's, it's a great, great turnout so far. We're making our way down or up the road here. All of it is completely closed. You can still find parking. There's enough parking. Parking is free. You don't have to worry about that like in, in the big cities. But you can see there's a lot of different vendors. I believe, yeah, this is Henry's Fresh Roast. So you can have just about anything that you can think of. So we've talked about food. We've talked about the, uh, the offerings there. But we also have resources that, as we talked about drugs, you know, that's just, that's just reality. We have resources where if you want to get cleaned or if you want to turn your life around, they are here. We have, of course, businesses that are already here in Uptown, like What's Your Sign, that uh, have come out to be able to enjoy and engage with the community. We have Uptown Pinball is here. We have some insurances, insurance offices that are also here. But, uh, folks, I think, uh, I think it's a pretty good turnout as we start to make our, our way to you know, to the, to the uh, other side of Uptown, we're starting to see a lot more people. And so that's definitely great to see, folks. We encourage you uh, to stay tuned because uh, we're going to take a, a quick commercial break. And then uh, we'll be right back with more coverage here of our Oktoberfest. Stay tuned. I'm Sheriff Wayne Davis. My family and I have lived our entire lives right here in Henry County. And we spend our free time enjoying many activities in God's great outdoors. I'm a believer in hometown values, God, family, and country. For the last 23 years, I've worked at the Henry County Sheriff's Office and faithfully served the citizens of Henry County. As your sheriff, I vow to continue working hard every day to remove drug dealers and criminals from your streets to ensure this community is safe for you and your family. I will always be engaged with our local residents to understand your concerns and needs and by working with members of this community, we will continue to keep Henry County a great place to live, work, and raise our families. I respectfully ask for your vote on November 7th. I'm Sheriff Wayne Davis, and this ad was paid for and authorized by D. Wayne Davis Jr. for Sheriff. Boyce Holland Veterinary Services, established on January 1st, 1982 by Dr. Lot Boyce. We've now been in the animal care business for 41 years. With over 20,000 clients from the surrounding areas and everywhere located in Stewart, in Patrick County, in Virginia. Dr. Boyce's son, Cody Stevens, longtime employee Chad Hudson, and with an experienced staff, continue to carry on Locke's legacy in exceptional pet care with affordable pricing. Now, with four experienced veterinarians to serve you better and faster. If your pet is in need, bring them on by. Medical, boarding, grooming, and more. No appointment necessary. Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call for more information, 276-694-3564. I'm Michael Benner, Jr., and I'm running for Henry County Treasurer. I'm here to bridge the gap between industry and individuals who are not paying their taxes in Henry County. I'm here to support Henry County and make sure that our budget is sufficient to meet the needs of the citizens of Henry County. I'm here to help Henry County with a new vision, a new voice, and a fresh start. I sincerely request your vote and support this November for Henry County Treasurer. This ad was paid for and authorized by Michael Minner Jr. for Henry County Treasurer. There's a new business located in Patrick County serving Henry and surrounding county areas. Introducing Pet Express Transport. Family owned and operated, we are now transporting your pets to and from medical appointments, grooming appointments, and boarding to any area veterinarian. We also have prescription and pet supply delivery on Tuesdays. Weekend and after hours transport is also available. Our operating hours are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Contact Katie Cottrell and Chad Hudson at 2 276-694-3482 today to schedule your pet's transport. 
All right, everyone, welcome back to our Oktoberfest coverage. We're in Uptown Martinsville, of course, and we've had some great fun so far. We've talked to Sheriff Wayne Davis, he sponsored the first portion. Second portion is brought to you by Michael Minter for Henry County Treasurer. I want to thank him for his coverage. We're going to talk to him in just a second, but I want to show you as I step out of the way here that this uh, side, as we're closer to the big chair, I think that's what most people would uh, would be able to recognize. We have a lot of those fall crafts. Everyone is in their pumpkin spice, uh, fall festive mood, I guess is, is the best way to put it. Uh, but you can definitely get a lot of those items thing and I'm pretty sure most of those are local. We have, of course, some food vendors that are down the road and we can actually smell them and see them. But uh, we're gonna make our way here. Uh, as you see that people are enjoying um, the great things in Uptown. We're going to talk to, again, the sponsor of this uh, portion of our coverage, Mr. Michael Minter. How are you, sir? Good, sir. How are you doing, doing today? Well. First of all, thank you so much for sponsoring uh, the coverage. We Absolutely. Absolutely. Love doing this. I've been coming to Oktoberfest my entire life, so I love this. Awesome. Tell me um, a little bit about the weather. I think I've been bragging about it. I'm a summer fan myself, summer weather fan, but I think it's pretty good weather. It's excellent weather out here tonight or today. Um, you know, it's fall and uh, you can feel a little bit of yeah. coolness in the air, but it's a wonderful day for Oktoberfest. So glad to be having it here today. Awesome. Tell me a little bit about what Mr. Michael Minter is uh, running on for those maybe that maybe have not heard about it in, in case they haven't. Yeah, so I'm wondering for Henry County Treasurer. Uh, I'm looking to collect those taxes that have not been collected over the past few years. And it's one of those things that we, we can't do that as a constitutional officer. So I'm going to be running. I'm going to be re reaching out to businesses and individuals who haven't paid. And I'm going to make sure those taxes get collected. So. Okay, so uh, a lot of feedback on that bridging the gap. Tell me a little bit about what that encompasses along with what you just said. Yeah, so I already work with businesses in the area right okay. now that they're paying their taxes. So it's about communicating and making sure that people understand what they owe and making sure they understand where these taxes are going. So it's going to the schools, it's going to the sheriff's department, it's going to our local government to make us better. So that's one of the things that we've got to make sure happens. Right. Uh, you've been out in a lot of community events, not just Oktoberfest, getting to know a lot of people. What are they telling you in regards to your race? Yeah, hearing a lot of great things, and I appreciate every person who's voting this, this year, whether it be early or coming November. We've, got a, we've had a lot of great support for this election, so uh, just looking forward to the next 31 days now right. and reaching out to people in their community, in their house, and, uh, and talking to them and letting them know that, that I'm here to help and here to support this community. Have you heard any other concerns besides the, besides the tax co uh, collection? Yeah, absolutely. The office is, uh, it needs an update. We need to be able to do things online and be able to pay with a card when you come to the office and it not be such a cumbersome activity. And, you know, I've heard talks about customer service, but there needs to be better customer service than what's going on right now. So it's one of the things that I pride myself on where I work with students and I already work with this community, uh, working with the parents and working with the businesses. It's something that I'm going to continue to do and improve upon in the office. So. You do good on the spot, so I'm going to put you on the spot for a little bit. Yeah. When it comes to credit card payments, I think that's been a big thing that has come up, and uh, people have asked, why can't I pay with my credit card? Even if there's fees, I know that I'm going to pay the fees. Why can't I do it? Yeah, it's a convenience fee. So if you want to use your card to pay those things, that's fine. It needs to be uh, posted to where that can happen, okay. and then people should be able to pay with their card when they come to the office. That should not be a, something that we, we, we don't put upon the people, that the opportunity. We're in a changing society in which people use cards, they don't carry cash or checks anymore, and to make them go to an ATM, they're already paying a service charge there. Why would we not do that right there in the office and keep them in line, not have to get back at the back of the line? We can process everything in the office and take care of them. Right, so we collect taxes. We can we can uh, have a lot more fun and do Oktoberfest and events like this, right? Yeah. So the Chamber of Commerce puts on a great event. This is the 42nd. I think yeah. I've been to all but a couple of them my entire life. I uh, loved it. First time I was ever in the paper. I was three years old down at McCollum Furrow, and I was in the paper uh, as a child. So you know, I love Oktoberfest, and it's one of the ways we can help support this community and help it grow. And the mentors, the mentor, Michael Mentor. And in general implemented in the community as you just stated. Yeah, absolutely. We're, the Minter families in the community, we're here to support the community. You know, we've got we've got many opportunities that we've done, uh, worked with people to, to help raise funds in our community because we love where we live. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again for sponsoring and talk to us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. So. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay, we're going to show you around. Again, want to thank Mr. Michael Minter Jr. for Henry County Treasurer for sponsoring this portion of our Oktoberfest coverage. Uh, they're making uh, this possible today. Um, 
I talked to you a little bit about the fall decorations. Uh, I got to do some fall decorating at my house, but you can see here that we have a pretty good selection. And then as we move on, thankfully these are in order. The way we're walking is we got the fall decorations and then of course um, Christmas. I almost said summer. Christmas decorations are also here. Yes, folks, we are already talking about Christmas. People start as early as they can. So uh, you can be able to get some of those uh, those things as well. We're going to continue to move, move our way here. Let's see who we got. Uh, we got some mascots here from the, uh, is that Elks Lodge, I think? Yeah, Elks Lodge. We got the mascot here taking some, some photos with them and uh, enjoying some of the festivities here we have uh, I thought I, I thought that was a food truck so that might tell you that I'm hungry because that wasn't a food truck we have uh, some candy here it looks like that you will be able to to purchase and get a hold of Christian is gonna get us a closer look there but some bags of candy a lot a lot of different choices here you got Halloween candy as well and just some fam fan favorites that um, you know are up for grabs so this what there was food okay I wasn't I wasn't too too off I also smell pancakes I think or donuts it might be donuts we got barbecue hot dogs soft drinks squeezed lemonade all here in Uptown Martins and again folks if you're watching this live on Facebook we're here until 4 p.m. so you'll be able to enjoy all the great offerings seeing a lot of people in the community that we know being stopped by everybody definitely great to see it this is a great way that everyone can come out and not just enjoy what we have to offer here in Martins and Henry County but also for uh, all the uh, great great things that uh, our community members are doing and uh, you can see that we have uh, some friends of mine that are up there are we close to ending it okay so we're going to take a quick commercial uh, break, folks. We're going to uh, take those graphics off the screen. We're going to be uh, right back, so we encourage you to stay tuned uh, after this break. I'm Sheriff Wayne Davis. My family and I have lived our entire lives right here in Henry County, and we spend our free time enjoying many activities in God's great outdoors. I'm a believer in hometown values, God, family, and country. For the last 23 years, I've worked at the Henry County Sheriff's Office and faithfully serve the citizens of Henry County. As your sheriff, I vow to continue working hard every day to remove drug dealers and criminals from your streets to ensure this community is safe for you and your family. I will always be engaged with our local residents to understand your concerns and needs. And by working with members of this community, we will continue to keep Henry County a great place to live, work, and raise our families. I respectfully ask for your vote on November 7th. I'm Sheriff Wayne Davis, and this ad was paid for and authorized by D. Wayne Davis Jr. for Sheriff. Boyce Holland Veterinary Services, established on January 1st, 1982 by Dr. Locke Boyce. We've now been in the animal care business for 41 years. With over 20,000 clients from the surrounding areas and everywhere located in Stewart, in Patrick County, in Virginia. Dr. Boyce's son, Cody Stevens, longtime employee Chad Hudson, and with an experienced staff, continue to carry on Locke's legacy in exceptional pet care with affordable pricing. Now, with four experienced veterinarians to serve you better and faster. If your pet is in need, bring them on by. Medical, boarding, grooming, and more. No appointment necessary. Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call for more information, 276-694-3564. I'm Michael Benner, Jr., and I'm running for Henry County Treasurer. I'm here to bridge the gap between industry and individuals who are not paying their taxes in Henry County. I'm here to support Henry County and make sure that our budget is sufficient to meet the needs of the citizens of Henry County. I'm here to help Henry County with a new vision, a new voice, and a fresh start. I sincerely request your vote and support this November for Henry County Treasurer. This ad was paid for and authorized by Michael Minner Jr. for Henry County Treasurer.
There's a new business located in Patrick County serving Henry and surrounding county areas. Introducing Pet Express Transport. Family owned and operated, we are now transporting your pets to and from medical appointments, grooming appointments, and boarding to any area veterinarian. We also have prescription and pet supply delivery on Tuesdays. Weekend and after hours transport is also available. Our operating hours are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Contact Katie Cottrell and Chad Hudson at 2 276-694-3482 today to schedule your pet's transport. All right, everybody. Once again, welcome back for our third segment. This one is brought to you by Boyce Holland Veterinary Services out of Patrick County. Also, Pet Express. They offer pet transport services throughout Martins and Henry County and all of the surrounding areas. So we we'll continue to make our way uh, through Uptown as we are showcasing everything that uh, there is to be had we have Italian hot ice dogs I don't know I don't think all of those go together but I still think it's it's good weather I've seen some people in blankets some people in hoodies it's all a preference but I think it feels really really nice uh, we're having some great fun everybody with everybody I should say as we make our way just kind of showing you uh, some of the things that uh, are here I wish Kimberly was here because Kimberly uh, Keller Bernacci I believe it's is the name because um, Oktoberfest has been on a hiatus for for a while I want to say at least two years because one uh, because of COVID and then the other one due to uh, weather I believe but it's great to be able to have this in uptown and uh, we're gonna just gonna we're gonna keep walking folks and just kind of showing you in case you're home and you want to you know uh, get a glimpse and see what uh, what there is we got some plants of course um, again a good good turnout folks very good turnout I'm gonna we're I'm trying to make it to like uh, not uptown square but up to the former courthouse old courthouse just because I believe that's where all the uh, the music is coming from. I thought they were talking to me, but we're going to continue here. Um, as I was telling Christian during the break, we're seeing a lot of just um, local, local businesses that are that are here. And uh, not just local businesses, but also like pop-up shops. Um, so definitely this is, I think this is a great exposure for those individuals that maybe don't have a storefront but want to be able to get some of their offerings out here because, you know, they, they, they may not be able to, to get those. Uh, this is where the smell of great food is coming. Uh, new business, new, uh, new business that is uptown. So definitely want to come out and try them out see what they are all about I've I've had their food actually I was at a ribbon cutting and I had their food and it was uh, it was very very good so we continue to make our way uh, downtown here and uh, lost my train of thought there but again folks you can definitely tell it's fall. The leaves are starting to change. Great atmosphere, folks. And I think, again, I think we're we're seeing some of that. Uh, we're ended at at uh, we're in the coverage at 20. Now let's see. At 27. Hey. At 27, we'll end the coverage at 27 to to get our commercial break in there. Wow, some wood products. Now that takes a lot of talent, folks. We got the shirts, of course, that are on your screen. Again, big shout out to Chad Hudson for.
uh, later at Oktoberfest today. I'm Sheriff Wayne Davis. My family and I have lived our entire lives right here in Henry County. And we spend our free time enjoying many activities in God's great outdoors. I'm a believer in hometown values, God, family, and country. For the last 23 years, I worked at the Henry Sheriff's Office and faithfully served the citizens of Henry County. As your sheriff, I vow to continue working hard every day to remove drug dealers and criminals from your streets to ensure this community is safe for you and your family. I will always be engaged with our local residents to understand your concerns and needs. And by working with members of this community, we will continue to keep Henry County a great place to live, work, and raise our families. I respectfully ask for your vote on November 7th. I'm Sheriff Wayne Davis, and this ad was paid for and authorized by D. Wayne Davis Jr. for Sheriff. Boyce Holland Veterinary Services, established on January 1st, 1982 by Dr. Locke Boyce. We've now been in the animal care business for 41 years. With over 20,000 clients from the surrounding areas and everywhere located in Stewart, in Patrick County, in Virginia. Dr. Boyce's son, Cody Stevens, longtime employee Chad Hudson, and with an experienced staff, continue to carry on Locke's legacy in exceptional pet care with affordable pricing. Now, with four experienced veterinarians to serve you better and faster. If your pet is in need, bring them on by. Medical, boarding, grooming, and more. No appointment necessary. Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call for more information, 276-694-3564. I'm Michael Benner, Jr., and I'm running for Henry County Treasurer. I'm here to bridge the gap between industry and individuals who are not paying their taxes in Henry County. I'm here to support Henry County and make sure that our budget is sufficient to meet the needs of the citizens of Henry County. I'm here to help Henry County with a new vision, a new voice, and a fresh start. I sincerely request your vote and support this November for Henry County Treasurer. This ad was paid for and authorized by Michael Minner Jr. for Henry County Treasurer. There's a new business located in Patrick County serving Henry and surrounding county areas. Introducing Pet Express Transport. Family owned and operated, we are now transporting your pets to and from medical appointments, grooming appointments, and boarding to any area veterinarian. We also have prescription and pet supply delivery on Tuesdays. Weekend and after hours transport is also available. Our operating hours are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Contact Katie Cottrell and Chad Hudson at 2 276-694-3482 today to schedule your pet's transport.